Watching YouTube videos about programming is holding you back as a programmer. I know this sounds harsh, but let me explain. If you're somebody like me, then you enjoy watching programming videos on the internet. You like watching tech takes, you like watching tech news, you like watching project tutorials and project vlogs, whatever, you enjoy watching programming videos. If you're in that scenario, then you may also fall into one of these three categories. You either get stuck in tutorial hell, you get swayed too easily by the opinions of others, or you're too intimidated to start programming at all. I've been in all three of these boats and my condition's only begun to improve recently. I make videos of air programming on YouTube, so I guess I'm contributing to the problem that I suffer from. But when I make videos, I'm making videos to highlight my own programming journey. And if somebody else gets benefits from them, that's great. Still, some of my audience takes what I say internalizes it and then makes it their own opinion and I don't even make videos about very technical content. So imagine what happens when there's a much larger channel like Fireship and what their audience does with Fireship's opinions. If you're constantly consuming a ton of content and not producing anything of your own, then it's pretty obvious you're not going to learn anything. Still, it took me a long time to internalize this, but hopefully by the end of this video, I've managed to make you internalize it. Anyways, now that we've established the problem, how do we actually fix it? It's really simple. Just watch less videos. Now I know that sounds a little bit sarcastic, but it's really all you have to do. If you watch less videos, write more code by yourself, then you're gonna have a better learning experience, develop your own opinions, and none of this video will apply to you. Still, it's a lot harder to do than it is to say, so here's how you can actually escape tutorial hell if you're stuck in. All you have to do is start weaning off the habit by remixing tutorials. What I mean by that is find a tutorial you like, go through with it, and then remix it at the end. Change some of the features, add your own features, put your own little spin on it. Then over time, watch less tutorials and build more of your own stuff, and boom, you've escaped tutorial hell. If you want a more detailed video and guide on how to escape tutorial hell, I made one about it a few months ago and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. What if the video is not a tutorial? What if it's a little bit higher level to the subject and a more opinionated take on how technology should be built? Then what do you do? Well, you might be tempted to just take what the creator says and make it your own opinion because you don't know enough about the subject. I get it, I understand that's something that I tend to do a lot, but it's clearly not the best thing to do. You need to be engaging more critically with the content. And I get it, right? It's YouTube, there's not much going on, it's very entertainment focused. Even the videos that are focused on education, they're still kind of for entertainment purposes. But that doesn't mean you should just be blindly consuming content. That's one of the worst things you can do, and we need to fix that. Problem. I understand that it's usually easier to just copy somebody straight up at the beginning of your journey and you can get pretty far doing this for a while, but at some point you have to step out into the real world, forge your own path, and forge your own opinions. Sometimes you're going to agree with YouTubers you watch, sometimes you're going to disagree with them, sometimes you're going to have no clue what they're talking about and why they think the way they do, and sometimes you will have zero experience on the subject they're talking about and you won't be able to form an opinion. To be able to engage critically with content, you need to be able to form your own opinions. So you might need to watch videos less so that you can form your own opinions and use those opinions to judge other people's opinions. Do you get what I'm saying? And if you're watching a video and you have no idea what they're talking about, then look up the topic and see if you can see where they're coming from. Because when somebody's talking to you, they're gonna follow the chain of ideas that is most likely to persuade you to agree with them, even though that might not be the case if you were presented with all the possible information. And it's fine if you disagree with YouTubers that you enjoy watching. That's good. That encourages healthy debate in between you and them. Even if they never actually talk to you, don't be parasocial. But still, it's a good learning experience when you disagree with somebody and you can properly articulate why you disagree with them. That's a sign that you're growing and that you know what you're talking about unless your opinions are completely stupid. But you get what I say. Also, just programming more by yourself will help because you'll be building things and naturally you'll form opinions on the way things should be built. And that'll be great because you will become an opinionated person and that's very cool. Theo from ping.gg has a great YouTube video about this. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below if you want to go check it out after this one. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching through the entire video. I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share it with a friend that wants to see it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.